Cut Cut this in half, it. right? Might not be better. OK, lovely. So yeah. what we do is whack your butter in there mm -hmm. and... And an egg, too, chef, or not two yet? Two eggs, two eggs. Yeah. How many eggs are you putting in there? Two. <laughs> two, yeah. Are you, have you still not got yours on yet? Uh, no, I don't, actually. Uh, I think you'll find mine's uh, just... No, I, I find if you get it on too early, it doesn't work right. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing this differently from mine. No, he's just fried everything. I'm getting these ingredients, so I'm not going to work the flour. Mine will be much more tender than Nick's. Oh, all right, we'll have a look at that, yeah. And another thing I'm going to do to make mine better than next, I'm going to put a little bit of orange zest in I was going to go orange zest no, in my... you <laughs> Where did you get that recipe for I'm pineapple gonna... carpaccio, eh? I'm, I'm going to put lime zest in mine. <laughs> lime zest, eh? I far prefer... Oh, the... no, lime zest. I'll have just some honey in mine as well, yeah. yeah. Does it taste as nice, does it, Paul? Nah. Yeah. All right, and then all we do is give it a little pulse to come, to come together. Yeah. Bang. Job done. Job's a good one. Okay, so do you want some water in that pan there, chef, for your mash? No, no I don't. Where no, are you going to cook your mash then? I'm going to cook my mash in this one here. Okay, lovely. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> half, I said half. Half, oh, half, right. half, half. What about the other half then? Well, the other half, I'm going to do something else with. Oh, I see. Right. I think. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're not having a go at you, Kev. No, don't worry you're about fine. it. Really. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. he is. Here, have you... a prune. Yeah, have yeah. a prune. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, they're good for you. There you go. That's quite nice, isn't it, eh? Yeah. We could all find a glass. OK. So where did my wee pan go? There we go. Oh, there we are. That's a so, I don't know started. where your wee plenty pan of, went. Plenty of butter in there. Uh huh. A little bit of brown sugar. Uh, you get me a wee bit of lemon juice, please, Ames? Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you have a drink there? Uh, <laughs> sort yourself out. Would you, you like one? Right? No, 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 no. I'm all right. You carry on. Just enjoy it. Here we are, Chef, with a lemon. Just a wee bit of lemon. And that helps with the whole Chef thing like to emulsify, OK? Chef, would you like a glass of wine? Yeah, I'd love a glass of wine, thanks. Red eh? or white, Chef? Can I have half a pint? <laughs> <laughs> Not a full pint, red, thanks. Red or white. OK. And I'll take whatever it's got. Beef, I'll have red, thanks. <laughs> right. OK, look at this. Now, this is interesting. This is just laying so, right down like yeah. this. And then we'll put a prune in between those. Yeah. So it's going to come up so beautifully. Ah, mm. Put a couple in mm. there. Mm. No. And this is. See, mine's, mine's ready to go in the oven now. Oh, it's too early, oh, man. Too oh. early, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's such a thief. That's my recipe. Have <laughs> <laughs> you read any of my cookbooks? <laughs> There's a few it's of them. It's lucky I'm here. Otherwise, he would have got away right. with that, wouldn't he? Right. Oh, he's. Mm -hmm. Get these eggs. All we do. Care carefully put on top. Yeah. And it will spread out. Self-raising flour we've used in here too, folks, yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't know. And do you want the onion sliced up here, Chef, the red onion? Uh, yes, please, slice the onion up. Right. Yeah, yeah. OK, I'll show you. you yeah. take, take, take that little bit out there. Right. Let's lose that skin, yeah? Good. Just slice Isn't it. Isn't it faster than me? I just got, uh, just a bit, yes. got the root yeah. on there. Twelve minutes to go now, guys. You must be just kidding. Slice it like You're joking. Yeah. <laughs> so it goes across that way. If you slice it the other way, then it's not going to separate. All right, you just give that look, and all separate up beautifully. Delicious. Mm. OK, okay well, no, there I, you go. From I, start to finish this side, round of applause! <laughs> Woo Back over here. OK. Um, now, Chef Carpaccio. How did, how did he get an applause? Because I got mine in the oven first. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my recipe. recipe. <laughs> it's like when you write songs, you get credit for it, you see. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. He likes slipping the knife in there. He does, now, Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. If people see carpaccio, it's just a name it's on It's just a name. I mean, a carpaccio was originally a beef dish, originated from Harry's Bar in Venice. Yeah. A very, very uh, thinly beaten out beef tenderloin. Um, but this is, uh, is just taking the, the idea of very, very thin things, and so they marinate very, very quickly. Yeah. So we're going to marinate this just with some sugar syrup. Ah, oh, that's something I need to put on. It's a bit of sugar syrup. Mm. So we'll pop that on there. Sugar syrup, we need some and caster what, sugar. What about the process? How juice. long would you marinate it for, Nick? It'd oh, be... it only needs 10 minutes. How long okay. have we got? Oh, we've got about 11 minutes to go. 11 you've got minutes, of I time. do. Yeah, okay, push it around a bit more, my love, and then open, and lift up. There you go. So, oh, there you go. Don't let it soapy wear, soapy. There you oh, go. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay. Okay, Nick, tell us what's happening there, Chef. Right, all I'm doing is actually, while um, we're doing it, could we may start whisking up the egg whites, if that would be possible? Mm. Okay, yeah, um, I'm sure we can do it with you. you want could... hand a bit or it, boy, with the. Uh, no, with the, the thing, machines With the beaters. All right, yeah. Okay, we'll just kind of. Speed is the order of the day. Push those up. Go on then. Okay. Mr. Rank has been very speedy. Yeah, today. Good. And what are you going to do with the prawn, Chef? Uh, I'm just going to very quickly stir fry them. If you okay. could give that a little mixing with a wooden spoon or whatever, yeah. a wooden spoon these days. No problem. Um, 
OK. And is this your sugar syrup, Chef? This is yeah. to go with the... Um, pineapple. Pineapple, OK. Yep. Lovely. And I also need some lime zest in there as well. Lovely. If you had a moment. And this is, this uh, is the these, noodles. These are noodles and... Uh, ready they, to come out. Yeah, they're ready to be drained. So I think we're going to... Uh, uh, drain those off. Colander over here. Beautiful. Oh, sieve is actually maybe slightly better. OK, yeah, go on, fill it round. Go on. Lovely. One of the important things is to get some cold water on straight away. Just got See that? Oh, get right in there. Oh! That's it. And the chef, do you want any sugar in there, chef? In uh, the meringue, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, OK, let's go. And uh, icing sugar or caster sugar, chef? Caster sugar, please. It's out, actually. Ains of that just about done, that sugar, chef. OK. Here you go, my love. Beautiful. OK, and we're blitzing that down. OK, and uh, how long do you keep this for? You can... This is the car I would make this. Apple. I'd make this in the afternoon. Put it in the, uh, the fridge to set up. Yeah. OK, and then I'd serve it for dinner in the evening. Okay? Lovely. Oh, so we've good. got the, the very oh, thin fine. slices of pineapple there. And Beautiful. We, did you zest? No, you didn't. That's you it. happy with that, Chef? Uh, let's go a little bit thicker. Let's yeah. take that up really Just a little thicker. bit thicker. I can't talk to her whilst that's going. <laughs> but I want my meringue to sit up. What's more important? Mm. The sound of your beautiful voice yeah. or my meringue yeah. standing up nicely. And you'll know. Have you ever got into the water, Nick, or do you live near the water up in well, Scotland? I, you know, I live right on the edge of the yeah. Lake of Matisse, right on the edge of the water. Um, and we've got a cranog about 400 yards out from the front of my house. And for me, that's a big expedition. 400 yards. How do these guys do the miles they do? No. I have no I idea. I say you actually go into the lake in the middle of the summer because it's too cold in the winter for you, it's isn't it? It's absolutely Baltic yeah. in the, uh, uh, in, in the Look winter. Look at that, time. guys. You've got the mint in there, you've got the sugar in there, and that will cool right down. And of course, it's just, just going to infuse all those flavours. It together, will right, indeed, mate? Ains. Yeah. Fantastic. So we start that's working enough, the... Yeah. I think <laughs> so. I was doing my ears in, that's why. <laughs> Eight minutes to go. Yeah. Okay, so. Mm. So, you know, I mean, you were thinking about very little when you were whipping that. What's it like when you're swimming? What do you think about um, 34 hours in the water? Exactly. Well, very little. It's a sort of meditation you get into, you know. Yeah. After three or four hours, everything hurts, you know, your body hurts. So you just flick a switch between your body and your brain. And, and you just completely and cut you just, out. Yeah, you just cut out everything and you just start thinking about the next arm yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, and I suppose the weather plays an important part. Oh, though, massive, it? massive, because you're immersing yourself in, uh, you know, in, in the temperature of the water for mm -hmm. a start. And, I mean, if it rains, that doesn't matter. We're, we're ready to get wet anyway, wet anyway. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. It's quite nice when you see everybody else yeah. get on the, on the boat get wet as well. Sure. But you can't have, like, strong winds otherwise. So if you get a big headwind like Gale Force 3 or 4, what happens then? Well, Gale Force is sort of 5 or 6, really. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we try and aim to sort of be in about a Force 2 to 3. Yeah. But towards the end, sometimes we have been caught out in what sort of... What drives you on, Alison? What keeps you going back wanting to get into that water? It's just... I mean, th yeah, how many... How many times have you done it? 43, now? 43, 43 times to swim the English Channel and <laughs> up and down the Thames. You've done other things too, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, on to Scotland as yeah. well. I was, uh, I was really proud of that one. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Which part of Scotland did you, did uh, you swim in? Port Patrick. Oh, right. Port Patrick. Yeah, to, down the Solway. Um, yeah, and uh, Donagadee, oh, sort of the south side of the Belfast Lock. That's, that's where amazing, we are. Really? Yeah. Love that's it. miles. And what about diet and stuff like that? Do you, do, do you kind of do you eat, like, before you go into the water, you said four days of high carb or Yeah, what? exactly. You try and, try and do some high carb, but mm. the morning of the swim, you just, like, just have something pretty light, really, and yeah. then just use your carbohydrate powder on the swim itself, yeah. you know, and that's it. Oh, really? The powder? That, yeah. That, that, that slowly releases into the body? Exactly. Well, you can have a quick drink. All it takes is 20 seconds, and you've eaten, you've had it, you know, in, in that powder equivalent of a couple of baked potatoes, you know, which is enough to keep going. There you go. That's what we're all going to be on soon, <laughs> isn't it? All those people are working for those bosses who say, Ooh, make sure you turn up in time. OK, about six minutes to go, a very little time now. We've been beating right. up things, we've got prawns. Don't forget, uh, Chef, your egg whites Could are there. Could you do some so, garlic for me? you're beating uh, garlic meringue there. Uh, here, two cloves of garlic, I'll find come back. Slice, Let's get thanks. over here. We're back okay, with Chef Paul Rankin, find out what's going on down. OK, Chef, uh, onions cooking here. These look interesting. These are what? Those are the crispy fried sweet potatoes, and they're nearly ready to come up. Lovely. They look fabulous. Kevin, is there a plate there you could... Uh, uh, yeah. I, hopefully there is. Yeah, get those out yeah. and... Uh... So I've got to ask you, Kevin, is, is there any set rules for swimming the channel? Uh, yes, you, yeah. uh, no, you start with no water beyond, so it's on the beach, you've got to wade in. Yeah. Uh, and you've got to finish with uh, no water beyond, so you, uh, you, you can't just sort of uh, be uh, knee-deep in water, you've got to manage to 
pool out or yeah. something like that. Come on, they're ready. Um, you're not allowed to uh, touch anything during the swim. Yeah. Uh, you know, no support from anybody else uh, on the boat. Uh, just hand down the drink, that's it. So, and, what? Uh, <laughs>